I need a huge so bad. Huge, 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 huge. Well, what we're gonna talk about today in this video is going to blow your mind. I'm dead serious. It is gonna change the way that you guys play Pet Simulator 99. I promise. But before we get into that, everybody, I need you to do me a favor. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. All right, let's do this. So it is no secret that this game revolves around huge pets. I mean, you want to get more pet equips so you can unlock more eggs to hatch more active huge pets. The dude that's living in this house right here probably has a bunch of huge pets that he hasn't told us about yet. I'm kidding, but seriously, guys, who in the world would be playing this mini game right here if you could not get a huge pet from it? Who in the world is going to go to the dig site and dig a whole bunch of blocks if they don't have a chance to get a huge pet? Also, real quick, if anybody watching this video has a huge fossil dragon, please reach out and trade it to me. I mentioned this a bunch of times, but would anybody even try to do the chess rush if you didn't at least have a chance to get yourself a huge pet from it? Let me just go ahead and save you some time and say no. I mean, it makes sense, right? Huge pets are the best. They're the thing they're going to get you through the best levels in the game, and there's no other way to get past it, right? And the reason for that, everybody, is this. Every huge pet has a level associated with it. So right now, this huge pet, for example, is level 91. It does 80.6% damage more than my best pet in the game. On top of that, huge pets get charm slots at level 20, level 40, and level 85. That'd be amazing. They do 40% more damage. They get more diamonds. They move faster. Everything. This charm's the best charm you can get. The only downside is this 3 million gems. So two royalty charms cost as much as one huge pet itself. So you can see how it'd be really expensive to outfit an entire team of huge pets with a whole bunch of royalty charms. So basically what I'm telling you guys is if you guys want an army of huge pets with a whole bunch of charms in them, it's going to cost you a lot of gems to do that. But if you're trying to grind the last area, that is probably the best thing that you guys could do, right? Is get a whole bunch of huge pets because that's the only way that you can grind this as fast as possible, right? Well, you bunch of rock stars, what if I told you that's not entirely correct? Let's go ahead and step away from this area real quick. All right, everybody. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go and unequip every single pet that I have in this game. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here. You're huge pets are really only as good as your best stat pet in the game. In this case, the best stat pet I have is the Broomstick Corgi. It does 919k damage. Some of you guys may have other ones, whatever. But the huge pets go off of the best pet you guys got. So if I didn't have this Broomstick Corgi, then all my huge pets would be completely pointless. If you guys don't have the best stat pet for the area, that's the first thing you guys have to be focusing on. Okay, so let's pretend you guys have one of the best pets and you guys are ready to start doing some grinding. So, let's do this real quick. Let's go ahead and make sure we don't have any criticals or anything equipped. Let's go ahead and turn off all my books and let's look at this for what it is. Okay, so let's break this block right here. This broomstick corgi at base damage is doing 1.94 trillion damage per hit. And that's pretty good because that's what all the huge pets and exclusive pets are going to be going off of for their damage as well. So let's go and unequip the broomstick corgi and let's just go ahead and grab one of my happy rocks here. Let's grab this one right here. It's a level 84. Let's go and equip this pet right here. And it's doing 3.25 trillion damage per hit. That's roughly about double from what the broomstick corgi was doing. And that's because it's level 84 and it's doing 67.8% more damage. All right, let's go ahead and unequip this bad boy. And let's go ahead and equip this one. This is a huge hell rock. It's also 84, and it also does 67.8% damage. But check this out. So the golden hell rock is doing 3.83 trillion damage. Even though it's the same level, and even though it's the same everything, it's doing almost about 600 billion more damage than the happy rock, even though it's the exact same level. And that's because it's golden. All right, so let's take a look at this. Huge jolly penguin, and this one is shiny. So let's go ahead and equip that real quick, and let's see what this shiny pet's doing. So this shiny pet is doing 5.44 trillion damage. That is a heck of a lot more than the Golden Hell Rock. And that's for two reasons. One, it's shiny, but also number two, it's doing about 13% more damage because it's level 91. So before we look at this Rainbow Happy Rock, let's look at the regular Happy Rock one more time. So a regular Happy Rock is doing 3.24 trillion damage. That Hell Rock was doing about 3.84, but a Rainbow version of a regular huge does this right here. So check it out. A Rainbow version of the exact same pet does 4.79 trillion damage per hit. That's, uh, that's, that's a lot. That's a a big big difference for sure but here's the thing everybody to get that kind of damage it's about four times more expensive than a regular happy rock so to get a full team of rainbow huges is really really hard to do and it's going to take you a long time all right so now that i've explained all that it's time to get to the part of the video that you guys are actually here for i just had to explain all that huge stuff so you guys know where i'm coming from okay so check this out everybody we're going to go and equip this regular unicorn dragon it does 85 percent as much damage as my broomstick corgi okay so obviously the broomstick corgi was doing let's check one more time again this broomstick Corgi was doing 1.93. Okay, so 
unequip that one and we're gonna equip this so it's doing 1.64 trillion but it's not doing as much damage as the best pet that i have so let's go ahead and unequip that and let's go ahead and grab this guy right here this anime corgi this is doing 90 percent damage and this bad boy's doing 1.74 trillion damage but it's doing 10 percent less damage than this pet right here and 10 percent of 919 is about 90 000 damage so you'd be better off using this pet right here but you can get a whole team of these for a lot less expensive than you can get a whole team of these guys for now let's go ahead and look at the shiny version of the unicorn dragon so let's go and equip that real quick and see what kind of damage we're looking at so this unicorn dragon right now is doing 2.29 trillion damage and that's already better than the best pet that we have and that's because it's shiny all right so check this out here's the rainbow version of an 85 percent exclusive okay so check this out this rainbow blueberry cow is doing 2.62 trillion damage to this simply because it's rainbow so let's go and unequip that real quick okay so this normal 95 percent exclusive is doing 1.83 trillion damage to this and it's pretty good but it's still doing five percent less damage than the best pet that we got all right so what happens when we do a shiny version of a 95 percent let's go and equip that real quick now this shiny rainbow dominus is doing 2.55 trillion damage to this comet which is already better than the best pet that we got okay so now let me show you guys this let's go and equip lucky bob he's a 95 percent dragon fruit dragon and he's rainbow so watch this now we're gonna equip him and see what he does so my rainbow lucky bob Bob is doing 2.92 trillion damage to this comet. That is about 400 billion more damage than the shiny version as well. Now, if you had a shiny rainbow version of Lucky Bob, it'd be doing a heck of a lot more damage. Now, the big question is, is how does this damage stack up to that huge pet? So we're gonna go and unequip this real quick. Now, remember everybody, this huge happy rock is level 84. I've had this pet for, God, since Pet Sim 99 actually came out. So it takes forever to grind him that far. But watch this, it is only doing 3.22 trillion damage. As you guys can see, the difference between Lucky Bob and this Happy Rock is really not that dramatic. And this one has a wrap of 2.65, but this one's got a wrap of 5.82. So you guys could get two Lucky Bobs for the price of one Happy Rock. And the crazy thing is your Rainbow Exclusive is gonna do more damage than a level one, I think one to 25 or one to 30 uh, huge pet. So you're gonna get way more value getting yourself a Rainbow Exclusive than you would wasting your money on a huge pet. So if you guys are all about the grind of getting diamonds and farming this last area, the best most cost effective way you guys could do it is getting yourself a bunch of rainbow exclusives because remember everybody from lucky bob to this rainbow cow it's only 300 billion damage and also the blueberry cow sells for about a million less than this one does so in theory you guys can get yourself about four of the 85 percent rainbows to one huge pet and that would be a much more effective team at grinding this area than having yourself just a couple of huge pets and let's do a team of about 71 pets considering that you guys may not be ranked 13 or 14 or whatever so let's see what this does let's go and head in here real quick and let's see how fast we can hit this area without a single huge pet on our team you guys do not need to focus on huge pets they are definitely awesome to have but you don't have to have them in order to grind out the best area in pet sim 99 so stop worrying about huge pets and go get yourself some rainbow exclusives before they start going up in price enjoy yourselves everybody go get yourself some exclusive pets and i'll see you guys in the next video